Welcome to the Buck Brief. Let's dive into it. First off, uh, updates on the Biden crime family and then the realities of the Democratic Party uh, with Cuomo out there making the pitch to people that, you know, he would have been in a position to run. Yeah, that's right. He would have been in a position to run against Biden in this election, which would seem to be rather bold. But when you understand what the plan is here, what the plan has been all along, it actually makes some sense. So we're going to dive into it. Let's do it. Um, First up, Biden, the Biden crime family. You have um, James Comer out there. Here, here he is saying the Bidens have two problems, the crime and the cover up. Uh, we're working with Judiciary Committee. Jim Jordan's really investigating the Department of Justice more than we are. He's on the Oversight Committee, so we're coordinating everything we communicate daily. you got two problems here for the Bidens. You've got the crime and the cover-up. And I'm focused on the crime. Jim Jordan and the Judiciary Committee's focused on the cover-up. We're going to work together in our efforts to hold this family and this administration accountable for wrongdoing. Okay. Now, yes, that's all true. But they're never going to get the DOJ to move on Biden. And it's not even clear they could move on Biden, given that he is the president right now. And they're just going to put up this wall, which is what we talked about uh, the other day of, oh, it's not Biden's fault. He didn't know. And he just loves his son. And his son is an addict. And his son didn't know. So, yeah, that's where all of that is, right? That's how all of that shakes out. They're not going to be able to bring uh, Biden down. I mean, here, here's Comer saying that it's, um, the lies never stop, which is also true. When I said the laptop was legitimate, they said it was Russia disinformation. When I said we, uh, you know, they, they said that Joe Biden had never, uh, met with or spoke to any of these people that sent his family money through our seven month investigation. We've proven he met with and spoke with every single person. We've proven that most of the money happened while Joe Biden was Vice President, we've proven that the Biden family got millions of dollars from China, even when he lied to the American people in the Trump debate and said his family never took a penny from China. I mean, the lies that we've exposed are, are, are never ending. So the lies never stop. Yes, but that's how the Democrats roll. That's not that's not going to change anytime soon. There's nothing about that that we can look at and say, you know what? Um, enough is enough. The Democrats are willing to push aside this in this decrepit incumbent president and do something else. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Joe Biden is the incumbent and he is their guy for this election. Um, I, I think that's increasingly clear. I've been saying it on this, on this uh, podcast series for a long time, as you know, gotten a lot of heat from people. They're like, Oh no, it's going to be Newsom. It's going to be Michelle Obama. No, no, it's going to be Joe Biden barring a major health issue, a, a, a true major health issue, which could happen to anyone at any point in time. But when you're in your 80s, obviously it is a much more likely scenario that health could fail in a major way. So you have um, you have Joe Biden, uh, more information coming out about you know the money and, and it's all about repayments of loans. Where's the original loan? I would ask that question that this week there was something about how Biden, you know, in the finances, Joe Biden got money, but it was repayment of a loan. Where's the original loan? It, it just doesn't hold together, folks. It doesn't make any sense. But they were trying to almost like a mafia boss needs to be far enough away from the realities of the, you know, the real getting the hands dirty stuff so that he can't get sent away for it. You know, hey, do the thing with the guy for the thing, you know, and then it's like, oh, I didn't give the order for, you know, that mob hit. Right. This is uh, Joe Biden was the front man in a sense. And and he was what they were selling. But the people who were doing the selling, namely, you know, Hunter Biden, um, Joe Biden's brother, uh, they, they you know, the other people who are Hunter Biden's business partners, they were the ones making the the day to day decisions on the ground, if you will, and so that way Joe Biden is somewhat insulated. Um, where did all the money come from for all these homes Biden has, and you know millions and millions of dollars and paying all these expenses? Uh, yeah, that, that that's not something that they're going to look too deeply into. But as I've said all along, Democrats corruption doesn't bother them at all as long as it's their team in power. They wouldn't even care. It would not bother Democrats one bit if they found out that Joe Biden had gotten directly a check for $10 million from a Chinese Communist Party cutout. 
Uh, they want Joe Biden. If it's that or Donald Trump is president, they don't care. It's it's Joe Biden all the way. That's not like it would change any of their minds. I mean, what I'm really saying is even a smoking gun situation of Biden corruption wouldn't really change anything for Democrats. And you'd say, oh, but what about independents? Then won't Republicans win? No, because the media will just lie about it. Well, see, that's not a smoking gun. That's a, a piece of artwork. That's a replica of a firearm that has, you know, false false smoke coming out of it it's it's a it's a projection it's a 3d image it's a mirage it's a it's an nft whatever that doesn't matter they'll just lie about it just like they lied about the hunter biden laptop so that's why when we talk about a smoking gun people say like oh well when that happens there's as far as democrats are concerned there's no such thing they will go clintonian on this meaning well that depends on what the meaning of is is right remember that They'll just say, yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any smoking gun. I don't even see what you're talking about. And they absolutely will not care. There is no level of Biden corruption that could be exposed that would change Democrats' uh, opinions of how they would vote when it comes to Biden and, and Trump. Um, you would see almost no change at all. I mean, I think you would see a 99% continued support for Joe Biden, even if there was something that showed that, yeah, this guy was just getting payoffs from foreign governments to sell influence because you know what the democrats would also say did he do anything did he do anything in favor of those companies oh okay well that certainly wouldn't be the standard under donald trump right well where's the quid pro quo it certainly wouldn't be the, the standard they they were running stories in the washington post on how trump was corrupt through the emoluments clause of the constitution because there were foreign dignitaries who would eat meals at the trump hotel think about that for a second you sit down, you have a steak at the Trump Hotel. You spend, you know, $80 on it or something, or whatever it was. And, and you know, you get your tab. What do you think, what, what do you think happens then? You spend $100 at the Trump Hotel. You think uh, you get to walk over to the White House, bang the door, be like, I spent $100, so sign the treaty. No, right? That's idiotic. But these are the kind of arguments that were being made about Trump. Very different when they're making arguments about Biden. Look, this could not come at a better time for our country. I'm speaking of a new company with a new membership officer. It's called Patriot Defender. It's legal defense for you and me, the kind we need most. It's no-cost legal defense to protect your rights, freedoms, reputation, and your way of life. If you speak up at a school board meeting about vaccine mandates and suffer consequences, your legal defense is covered. If your right to free speech is denied and you suffer uh, consequences, your legal defense is covered. The company is called Patriot Defender, and their website is patriotdefender.com. Very soon, they'll be able to provide this membership in your state if they're not already able to do so. So go check it out. PatriotDefender.com. Patriot Defender will provide both open and concealed carry self-defense and your right to defend yourself and your family when you need to. They'll provide you with IRS audit assistance. If your business, your income, or your reputation are harmed due to the weaponization of government entities, and we've seen plenty of those occasions, you have no cost defense from Patriot Defender. I'm such a believer in this kind of defense. I'm a partner in this business myself. Website is PatriotDefender.com. That's PatriotDefender.com. And uh, this is something you just need to have. Need to check it out. PatriotDefender.com. All right. Cuomo. Governor Cuomo. Remember him from New York State? Governor Cuomo. He was doing presentations during COVID like this. Well, what do I mean by, what do I mean by, by, by presentation? By presentation, I mean he would have the slide up on the screen. And he would say, look at the numbers, high numbers, a lot of COVID, a lot of COVID. We need ventilators. Turns out ventilators were actually horrible and killed a lot of people. But uh, we need, we need, you know, they'll bring the COVID numbers down. I'm giving you a daily update. He was horrible on COVID, but they didn't fire him for that. They fired him because he like touched the uh, stomach area of a woman on his security detail and kissed another one on the cheek, I think, at a wedding or something like that. Nothing that anybody, I think, ever heard. And they said, oh, my gosh, that's, that's really, that's super serious. Um. But that's why they got rid of him. And uh, he's out there now trying to make a, a bit of a comeback. Here he is saying um, saying that if he were still in the mix as governor of New York, he'd actually be running, running against Joe Biden. Biden's calculus was he was accused of Tara Reid, fingers in the vagina. Sorry, Mom. Uh, <laughs> Other women came out, he smelled my hair, etc. He wanted quickly to distance himself from this, which is ironic because the same attorney who represented the Tara Reid case 
is the main attorney who drove this case against me. And he could have said, you know what, I went through this. Let's take a deep breath uh, and actually get the facts before we ask uh, a governor to resign. So would you be running against him right now? if, if all Probably. This probably. You would, even yes. with him sitting in office? Probably. And you think some other Democrat should do that? I think there should be a Democratic party. Now, my friends, um, that's interesting, isn't it? If he could make a comeback, or rather, if he were in a position to make a run at the presidency, the comeback might come later, uh, he, he says he'd be willing to do so. That's shocking, isn't it? That's pretty amazing stuff. It means that he thinks he could be a part of the new Democratic Party realignment that may come if Biden loses. You know who I think is, uh, is very much hoping that there's a Biden loss here? Clay and I have talked about this on the radio show. He says, Newsom, I totally agree with that. I think Cuomo wants Biden to lose as well. Because if Biden loses, you got to remember, there's all these people around him in the Biden orbit and the Obama holdovers from the Obama administration. They're, they're out of power, right? They're, they're not able to sort of uh, ensconce themselves deeper into the system over four years. And so you could have a whole new apparatus on the Democrat side, a Newsomian, Newsom, Newsomian apparatus, a Cuomo, these are hard ones to do, Cuomian apparatus, Cuomoian. Um, you could have these Democrats in an open 2028 field, again, assuming Trump wins, trying to create their own dynasty. So I think that's a big part of what Cuomo is trying to gear up for here. And we'll see, absolutely see more of that in the days ahead. Look, have you ever been to Belize, my friends? It's an amazing country. It's fun. It's beautiful. It's really, uh, you know, a great value. You should check it out. Belize is fun because you can float through caves down a jungle river. You can climb an ancient Mayan ruin, swim with nurse sharks and rays. It's just a couple of hours from a lot of major U.S. cities like Miami, Atlanta, Dallas, and Houston. You can enjoy rainforest and white sand beaches in the same day. But don't take my word for it. Go check it out. Learn a little bit about this wonderful country. I'm sure you're going to want to visit and maybe you want to invest in some property there. Go check it out. Belizeisfun.com. That's the website. Belizeisfun.com. Thanks for hanging for the Buck Brief. Have a great weekend. Shields high.